What's going on guys? Uh, this video is going to be a Jason at Blue Ox Model Shop put out a challenge about workspace. So I'm going to uh, show you guys my little uh, little workspace and what I have going on here. So I have a corner of a basement. I have a stack of models there that have to get organized. It's kind of been a chaotic mess. I have more kits down here. All the way up this IKEA shelf. Next to that is my uh, airbrush booth. And then I have my airbrush there and my airbrush compressor. Next to it, I have a bunch of the paint that I use. We go in here. This is kind of just miscellaneous. That's where I keep a lot of my, uh, my little gator clips in the stand. I got the little uh, like Lazy Susan deal there. Some random stuff in that one. This one here is technically uh, airbrush parts. I got extra needles, um, extra fittings for the airbrush quick connect. I do have a thing of paint in here. The next drawer down is literally just spray cans. With that kit. And down here is just extra, extra parts. I keep all my... Uh, to make some room to get this open all my Iceman collections uh random motors tires all that kind of stuff down there underneath i have uh more kits got all my nascar stuff back there in the corner since i'm not really planning on building other than my uh i have a couple uh number three Earnhardt's back there i'm going to build at least one of those be probably one of the few nascars I actually build as it is then I got more paint down in these totes down here. Then over here is just random extra sanding sponges. Got some paint. Got these for when I'm cleaning bodies. What's in this one? That one's got some clamps and some glues and epoxies. And this is just a bunch of surgical, uh, surgical knife blades. All right, then I got this storage deal I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, that's usually full of Q-tips and then the micro Q-tips and brushes and just got it kind of organized so I can grab what I need when I need it. And then I got a diorama back there. I take some pictures with the Route 66 one, a couple lifts for pictures. And then back here is usually the kits that I'm working on or need to get done. Uh, the R34, the 66 Chevy truck, 40 Ford project, the uh, second GTO. I have a fancy little carousel here, keep Sharpies and paint markers in. This I have extra parts in, um, like my seatbelt stuff, motor mount, superchargers, bumpers, uh, random small parts. And then more Iceman collections and miscellaneous uh, parts up there. And then on the filing cabinet, I have some uh, bare metal foil, silicone, decal, um, applicators, weathering stuff. Just kind of just hang up some random stuff on there. It's easy to grab. My uh, carbon fiber decals. And then a filing cabinet, just to keep it kind of for storage for my Dremel stuff on top and the metal on the side. And then over here you can't really, well I guess you can see, you did pick it up well. Um, my two most recent builds. So that's my workspace, guys. I plan on probably this fall doing a major uh, move, remodel, redo of this area to give me a little more room, a little more uh, appealing for the camera. So every time I talk to you guys, you guys want to see a floor joist and a random light bulb and duct work and stuff like that. So um, yeah, if there's anything you guys have any questions about, just drop it down in the comment box. Um, yeah. So we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys, and keep on building.